Welcome to the High School Football Sports Chat on thedepost.com. I'm Todd Murray, along with our high school writer, Sean Manning. Sean, uh, the high school football season kicked off last week uh, with area teams in action. Uh, tonight we've got a game, Morgantown High against Brook. And obviously the Mohegan's ground game uh, was something special uh, last week against Anacostia, Virginia. And uh, what are you expecting this week against Brook? Uh, a little bit of the same. Uh, last year they ran wild on uh, on Brook. Uh, it was Deshaun Thomas last year, and uh, this year Jordan Page has emerged as a threat along with uh, Maverick Wolfley. Uh, so the, uh, the Mohegans have a stacked backfield, and uh, I expect them to do a little bit more of the same that they did last year against uh, against Brook. Right. What do, you, what do you hear about Brook? I mean, at least defensively. Uh, they're very young up front. Uh, they lost a lot on defense. Uh, which might, may be a good thing since uh, what the, the Mohegans were able to do last year against them. But uh, they're young up front and they're undersized, uh, according to Coach Bowers uh, over at Morgantown. So uh, it'll be a test for them, that young defense, that's for sure. Right. On the other side of town, we've got University High is trying to rebound from its season opening loss, and they've got quite a challenge against Parkersburg South. Uh, how do you think John Kelly's uh, young kids are, are going to uh, you know, come back going into that game? It could be a rough one uh, for the Hawks this week. Uh, they played better than a lot, even I think Coach Kelly expected last week. Uh, they held their own against a experienced John Marshall team, uh, but Parkersburg South is a different animal, ranked in the top ten uh, so far this year. Uh, they're one and zero. They shut out Ripley last year, or excuse me, last week. Uh, so it'll be a test for the Hawks quarterback Clay Bailey, who is this will be his second career start against a. A pretty good Parkersburg South defense. Well, you've got Clay Battell and Midland Trail hooking up Friday night. Uh, you know, obviously, when you talk about the CBs, usually Jarrett Hockenberry is uh, one of the first names that come to mind. Uh, what what is he going to have to do to be successful this week? What he does almost every week, and that's uh, carry a Clay Battell offense that is still learning to play with each other. Uh, but having a guy like Hockenberry, a senior, as talented and as good as he is. Uh, really helps passing, running, uh, kick and do everything. Uh, and I expect nothing different this week to a Midland Trail team that has struggled in week one and probably isn't near the top of Class A. Right. Preston obviously suffered a big loss with Josiah News's graduation from last year's team, but it appears we have another star running back emerging in Kingwood and Joseph Boyle. Tell us a little bit about this young man. Uh, he's a younger kid. Uh, I remember Coach Tennant told me in camp that he expected big things from Joseph this year, uh, replacing Josiah Noose, who had almost 90% of the Knights offense last year. Uh, yeah, he's immersed and he's helping quarterback Scott Stone, who's a four-year starter, and uh, Dylan Smith, the wide receiver out there for them. So if they can get a more balanced offensive attack than they've had last year, uh, it would it would be what Coach Tennant would want, and Joseph Boyle's trying to help that. Well, we're certainly going to learn a lot more about our area teams uh, this week. Uh, Sean, appreciate your time as always, you. and please continue to follow our high school football coverage of thedepost.com.